Good evening, my name is TF2 Public Ferret. I'm in TF2 Tyrup.com Project Beta UK. Standard rules apply. If you don't sound my voice, please, please feel free to mute me. Um, but anyway, though, I think we're all here. And some tightrope. And the games begin. Okay, today we're on Viaduct. King of the Hill Viaduct is the one of the few maps I really tend to like a King of the Hill. The other ones I find are a little bit. And uh, no. Now, in any case. Things. Okay, so let's have a look, see what teams are doing here and what's going to go on. Now, okay, blue team's looking quite bad. Let's be ad mini. Red is looking a bit more, uh, you know, firepower heavy, but right now, though, it does seem as if, you know, blue team is winning this game. I think that's the firepower aspects coming in there. But what are the tactics for this map? Well, number one, keep the enemy away from the point. Now, you know, blue team's doing that right now. They're actually pushing ahead. They're keeping, you know, red team away. It's working quite nicely. Okay, Fabric the Frog. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, in any case. The other thing you might want to consider is putting up a sentry somewhere around here, because that will usually help. Uh, minis are acceptable. A big, full, fat one can really solidify a game. Now, Dr. Prohibition fanning. Hasn't changed name yet, but still looks like he's got the magic. Uh, no, I can't because this is not my server. You guys do need to remember that Tightrope isn't my server. Uh, it's only my um, commentary on Wednesday and Friday where it's just my server prime that I can do anything, to be fair. But nice work from base square. That takes up clob as two people. Um, perhaps, uh, if you want to put something into the discussions, please feel, please feel free to do so. And to be fair, actually. Uh, the pro one has that little underpass there, which does make it so you can actually um, move in around the side. Now, in any case, the blue team's still holding this point. One minute on the clock so far, and you know, red team hasn't really made a move in. And it's looking like a rollover game for the moment. Blue team is really winning this. Oh yes, some update about the weapon. Number one, the heavy lifter. 65% quicker weapon change. And also you're now immune to a uh, weapon knockback. So that's good. You know, that fine damage wise. Uh, what are the other changes? Um, they, they, again, some more rejiggering with the bonk juice again. And the last one on that, I can't remember. But, you know, please feel free to type in wiki and that should bring up a list of, uh, you know, whatever's going on and what's happening on the server. And modifications. Anyway, 16 seconds from the clock. This is looking like a whitewash game from Blue Team here. We may need a scramble. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking a scramble is probably the best idea right now. Dark Demon TJ is putting up a vote. Um, it's kind of reaching a consensus, but Blue Team has won the game. Yeah, nice. Okay, round two, and looks like you know Red Team's taken some morale failure at the moment. Now, can they come back in this game? Have they reorganised the team? Are they better, faster, harder, Dongo? And Rio there, nice heavy back man. You know, it takes out the enemy heavy and Red Team has gained dominance for the moment, but have they captured the point? And yes they have. The other thing I was speaking about lag and issues and things like that guys is uh, the other thing you might want to consider is uh, how many of you here use Wi-Fi connection? Uh, because the thing is actually, uh, you know, Wi-Fi is good and things like that. But it can lead to you know heavy packet loss and stuff like that. So if you do find your game is somewhat laggy or unresponsive, it can be you know using Wi-Fi. Uh, personally, I use wired all the time because it's so damn reliable. Uh, that's why you see on my server being a five uh, because you know. So yeah, most of you you know have that. But sometimes if you are using that you know wi uh, wireless, it does get a bit weird. Base squad moves in, is taking back the area for blue. Now, can blue team reclaim this area? We'll just straight out claim it. Unlucky they're bad. I think he went to uh, Satmat Sentry, but he didn't 
really manage to get the angles right on that. Oh, criminy. I don't know how GBK got... G I don't know how GBK got away with that for so long. Long enough to kill Tom. I think the sentry's busy killing something else. Tom unluckiness strikes back again. And inadvertently, is that, is that, are you not ill anymore, Tom? is pushed back. Now can they move up? Do they have what it takes? Well, try to think. They have got a medic. It's doing them some good. They just can't make their way onto the point. Are they using all the map? I don't know. They've got some soldiers I can play. He just seems that blue team is winning some serious skill. Although, Space Maniac, nice work man, takes out the sentry. Oh, nice one from GBK there. Dr. Frobish are fan. They're trying to play commando mode and gets punished for it. But yeah, it looks like Red's advantage is slipping away. GBK's trying his best. I mean, he's a good scout and all, but he's getting clobbered pretty hard most of the time. And what is this? Rabbit Collie. Stabson holding the line for Red Team. And nicely done there. Stabson actually managed to take it. Now, how long can he keep it going? Not very long from the looks of it. Red Team looks to have abandoned him quite heartily. There he... <laughs> Nice work, you managed, to nine, you managed to tick down 9 seconds for Red's clock, how do you feel? Well, <laughs> I feel great, it's the great day of my life. I want to thank my family for raising me, teach me what left and right is. <laughs> but right now, at the moment, it just seems that Blue Team is putting a lovely, lovely, um, you know, just counter attack. Or straight up attack in some cases. And oh, oh, bad, lovely triple stab there. Annihilates that whole left blue team there. Nicely done. Excellent, that was some excellent backstabbery there. Now, red team's got a chance to move in now. Chance, not necessarily a uh, guarantee. And that nice one from Rabbit Collie there. Probably your friend did not look directly upwards, which is where the enemy was. And look at this now. Ah, oh, some beautiful capping there. And okay, 155 versus 29 seconds. This is going to be a bit contested. This is not looking favourable to a uh, blue team. Oh, red team, I'm sorry. See you later, Glue. Unlike that, it was Frobisher Fanning. I think he went to move up an attack, but red team's got a nice hole near, and there goes the Uber. Trying to burn eight stuff. Takes out, takes out the mini sentry. Going for the fat man. Oh, nicely done there. Now that was a lot of killage there. And there we go. Nice. I ran there with the flodge. Murderizing everything. Yep, look at that. That was a lovely little work there from Tom and Baseball. Really, really took back that point in grand style, actually. I think that might be the problem here with uh, Red Team. They just don't have the lethality. Right. When their um, attack really kicked off, when Bad took out three guys at once, I think that's the problem right now. Red Team simply aren't able to kill enough of Blue Team off at any one moment. They might want to consider what they can do for that. Maybe a crit streak. Uh, maybe a sniper would help take out key things. I mean, the problem right now is the sentry building. It just seems to be a thing. And there goes the scramble. And Blue Team have that down. Nicely done. Okay, round three. Teams have been scrambled. Some saltiness there uh, from certain members of the team for, you know, W plus M1 tactics. Never mind the fact that there was a medic behind all that. Uh, you know, there's a thing. It does tend to work in the right situations, and that was it. You know, um, yeah, don't hate the player, man. Hate the game if you have to. But the thing is, WM1 was the original pyro. Um, you know, it's got a legitimacy as a tactic. Now, in any case, now he's managed to grab the point. Yeah, there goes the scramble. GBK trying as hard as there to avoid all kind of fire. Oh, no, missed that from bad. See you later, Pancake. Okay. 
Now, in any case, there's a red mouse at the first point. Now, are blue going to go for the counter attack? Right now, I'm seeing some prime time saltiness here. It just seems like the M, the M1 versus the M2 uh, Pyra community here at war with each one another. And there goes, um, not sure that is Base Squirrel again, murderizing a few people, and there it goes. Chrono Towns tries it. There he goes, moves in. But, you know, you say it player out there, nice work, <laughs> go straight for that heavy there, and that's the thing actually. Um, you said WS M1 is hard, but he did actually something that most good pyros do, which is not attack entirely, entirely head on, and did ambush that heavy. Um, you know, so there is an art to WM plus one. It's just a bit subtle. Subtle like a brick. Now, in any case, looks like Dr. Probish are fanning it out. Uh, oh, well, somebody urinated on the medic heavy combo. And yet, Dr. Probish fangs as well in piss is making an appearance again. Oh no, they're trying to cap the point and suddenly every blue team member got murdered up to the point and I think there's a sniper loose somewhere. Oh, there's Neo and uh, Einstein there. Not nicely, that's, that's pretty damn good there actually. They're keeping, you know, blue team away from the point. There's one sentry keeping an eye on it, but because blue don't have actually have the point, red don't need to move in that hard. Lucky that Dot Demon TJ moves on the point. That sentry though, that lovely kind of back end sentry, level 3 one. Doing some grand work. He's over a hill and bad there with a nice, nice stab. Now it does seem the problem here is you know, we've been continually stabbed. Just because the rest of the team is not really behind you. What are you doing advice? You might want to wait out for the rest of the team, but look at this though. Nice work here from Dark Demon TJ, getting in behind the sentry where they can't find it. And there goes the Uber. Murderizes everything. Gets the sentry, gets that. Blue team just need to move in and claim the point now. There they go. Yes, nicely done. Now, Riz only got 20 seconds left, so Blue pretty much have to win the game from here. This is going to be more than tricky. Okay, 15 seconds down. Blue is not in a favourable position right now. And with this minor, I think Tre attempted to jump on the Dr. Frobisher Fanning's head didn't really work. But right now, Blue team is really doing nicely there. Dr. Frobisher Fanning just finds the spy. Now, that's, you know, <laughs> again with the bumping into guys. Look at this though, Blue are now really nicely coming back. Can Red Team make another push? The thing is, they need one good push to really get back this game. They've got to destroy Blue Team. At the moment though, that sentry long range is really becoming a problem. I'm confused there, it's really stopping these snipers becoming a massive threat. Blue are nearing their half time. This is looking good, actually. They're making a comeback now. Blue, Red, no need to get an Uber out, murder everything in the area, and get a good push on. That might do it for them. They just need one good push to win this match now. Look at that crit. Oh my god, there goes Stabs and an epic killer. Murderizing everything to get rid of the sentry. It's looking good. This is the push Red needed. There goes Base Squirrel. Oh my god! Base Squirrel defends the point. That was flodge work there. Takes out a ton of people. Can Blue Team just about hold this area? Nope, they didn't. And there goes um, 20 seconds left in the clock here. Blue Team need to reorganize incredibly quickly and get on the point. Uh oh, oh no, who was that spy? Unlucky the TLX 408. Poe just fired the flare at the wrong, worst possible moment. And Blue Team are coming back. They're going for it. Time's for on the cat. Oh jeez, now, and right now the, M the M1 flodge is working, it is pretty much holding this game away from blue. That's some nice work there by Kronos Towns, and yes, MVP for that round.
Anyway, round four. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, so far, for most doms, the U Epic Killer and Rio have got managed to get one each. Let's see if he goes any higher than that. I don't understand really the necessity of playing in a style that's easy. But then, you know, you play easy, you play an easy style with a certain art form. And then it's like people have this thing of, I don't know, like being honourable. I don't think many game players are that honourable to use a skill set where that basically you don't have to do much. The problem is, we hear people say, yeah, don't use M1 because it's too damn easy. But then everybody uses Dead Ringer anyway. It doesn't make sense to me. You can't say like Pyro players just Pyro players and Spyro players like Spyro players. That doesn't work that way. So I think the thing is, people just find, um, yeah, the thing is, it's just, you know, M2 is good, but it's just not, you know, the end of the thing. You can't just find people to use M1 simply because they're tactically still effective, so it's somewhat lazy. But as I've said many times, nobody else really has managed to truly master the art of backburning. You know, the special kind of WM1. Now, in any case, what's going on here? Well, it looks like the minute the blue has made it two minutes thirty on the clock here. Red hasn't made, hasn't really come back for the moment. Well, no, it may never work. It may never work. You know, that's the point. Now, in any case. Also, I'll say normal match. Do you mean a comp match or some sort of kind of other game? Because I don't consider that normal, to be fair. I consider that more to be organised. Yeah, but that's... that. Your definition there was a little worrying for saying, you know, um, you know, normal. I'm like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about the vast quantity of players who play casually on pub servers? Surely that's the normal tier two. Now, in any case, rating it back in the game. I'm a filthy casual and proud of it. I am filthy and casual, but I'm still good. Uh, easy stab there for Zydran, and because I did not see what came what stabbed him in the back. Right now it's up blue is retaking the area. Okay, things are looking up now. Oh dear, unlucky that Rio. Now to be fair, I would have clobbered uh Crown of Towns by then. I think it comes down to aim. Think oh no, Jesus Christ, he's moving in destroying everything right now. But then again, he's kind of playing like a backburner pyro in some ways, approaching people from the side, and unlucky, they're shot straight in the face. That's the one of the weird things to do to find with people when they're up against the WM1 pyros. Just, why don't you shoot them? Shooting seems to be pretty damn effective. I mean, I've been an engineer before, and I've just shot in, in three times they've run towards me because they're not strafing. And, you know, it just works. The thing is, WM1 wouldn't be such a major problem if he would have shot what was directly in front of them. You know, hence why, you know, you can't do it with heavies. So that's pretty much exactly all they do. And then some people find, you know, heavy still kind of a difficult class. Ends in now, I'm not looking good here. Um, blue team is close to winning this game. Red team hasn't really made much of a push beyond that. There goes Chrono Sounds. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Chrono Sounds first in! I saw them both flodge up at the same time. I thought, oh, this gonna be good. And Base School did not see the other flodge pyro come the other way. That was quite funny to watch. No, you, you both kind of flodged up at the same time and then went round the corner at the same time. The problem is you didn't see him coming your direct left. That was the problem. Yeah, and Chronosans was quick on the... Yeah, that's it. He had the burn on you quicker. Now, in any case, 
two minutes farm the red team is fighting back now they've got to hold this for a long long time now Dr. Frobisher fan is beginning to bark out orders uh, is Scar here? I don't see Scar but normally he'd be like saying you know bark telling people to do stuff now not looking good here Blue's are going to retake the area oh nice work there one crit shotgun kills all. Uh, nope. And there you go. Ten seconds left on the clock. Blue team are going to move in here for the win. And blue team takes that game. Nicely done.